So as we talk about evolution, just understand there are two important terms that are really distinct. There's macroevolution and there's microevolution. Macroevolution is large scale change, usually having to do with the molecules to man view. It just means big change, macroevolution. Microevolution means small change, really small variations. Now, some believe that microevolution is actually evidence for macroevolution. The small changes with enough time actually lead to big changes. Sounds reasonable, right? Well, the fact is, if the neo-Darwinian mechanism actually works, this is actually the only way it can happen. It must happen by adding up small variations, small changes over a long period of time. Because extreme changes degenerate or become sterile. As Dr. Stephen C. Mayer explained, Darwin conceded that the beneficial variations responsible for permanent change in species are both rare and modest. Major variations in forms, which later evolutionary biologists would term macro mutations, inevitably produce deformity and death. Only minor variations meet the test of viability and inheritability. So if the neo-Darwinian mechanism doesn't need work, it can only work by having lots of little changes. And that requires a long span of time. For example, if I tell you that, oh, you can't drive to school today, you gotta walk. But then I tell you, oh, but you can only walk by taking um, an inch step each time. Now, since they're smaller steps, it's gonna take you a longer amount of time. Well, the same with this. If we make them smaller steps, smaller changes, it's gonna take a longer amount of time. So the question is, is there enough time? And does the neo-Darwinian mechanism work at all? 